Welcome back everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel and let's get right into another recap. So today is Wednesday. It's the day before Thanksgiving. So happy early Thanksgiving. And as you guys can tell from looking at the charts, the NASDAQ today definitely offered a lot of plays for either inverse ETF. So TQQQ when the NASDAQ started to rally and SQQQ as the NASDAQ started to fall. So SQQQ is the inverse ETF and it basically acts in direct opposite of the NASDAQ. So anytime the NASDAQ is pushing, uh, SQQQ would be falling and anytime the NASDAQ is falling, SQQQ would be pushing. Let me just show you it quickly. So as you can see, it starts to push when the NASDAQ started to fall. So uh, let me talk about how I did on the day quickly. So as far as my day trading goes, I wasn't up much. I was only at $63 on TQQQ and I was down right around $20 on SQQQ. And uh, definitely really blessed that our account uh, was up pretty decent, me and my brother's account because of our swing trades. But I can talk a, a little bit about that after. But I want to walk through with you guys my whole thought process for today and kind of how I was thinking of going about it. So um, I, I made most of my money on TQQQ and the reason for that is because I just took part in most of these um, plays moving upwards. So when the market opened up, as you guys can see from my filled orders, my first few trades were on SQQQ and I actually took a loss on them because I thought the market was going to fall, right? That's why I would buy into them. And unfortunately, as you guys can see here, right around here was when the market opened up. It actually ended up rallying pretty aggressively. So I got stopped out a couple of times and ultimately I decided to just go with the trend and go with direction on a day because I find it's always really hard to try and predict the bottom of something, right? It's more likely than not always going to keep pushing up and I find myself getting stopped a lot when I try and always think you know like I just said I found where it's gonna try and kind of turn around so I decided to go with the flow on TQQQ and there was a nice move that ended up going up and I was able to capitalize on these little kind of dips I would average up as it started to go up and sell when I thought it was overbought a bit so I would show you TQQQ on my orders and I'm gonna pull them up right now but the reason why I don't go through each one with you is because there's a good a significant amount of them and as you can see from the chart it is very messy because there's a lot of them right but as you can see from all the different uh prices the green is where i bought and the red is where i sold and i ended up kind of just buying the dips and if it started to go my way i would average up and sell when i thought it kind of got overbought so definitely uh happy with how that played out but could have capitalized a lot more. There was a lot more margin to offer. I was using $10,000 and only made just over half a percent. So not the best day, but still grateful. And SQQQ, my last trade was right around nine o'clock. And I actually ended up losing money on it because I have to go to work and I have to cut trading off right around nine o'clock. So as you guys can see here, my last trade was on SQQQ, but it was actually for a loss because I thought it was going to bottom out once it had this aggressive move down here. I thought it was going to try and find that rejection, the NASDAQ right around here and end up falling. But ultimately, it ended up pushing up a bit more. I got stopped out only for just like 10, 20 minutes later, the move actually came that I was looking for, right? This big fall down. So it was unfortunate, but still a lot of opportunity because it did end up finding a support here and rallied to new highs right around here. So definitely uh, hope a lot of you were able to capitalize on this whole section, this whole rally up for TQQQ and the tech stocks were brought up with it. So I want to talk about our swing trades quickly and regarding that, um, I just want to show you how some of them performed on the day. This is how Tesla did. It was our best one on the day. It was up just under 8% on the day from where it closed yesterday. So that was pretty decent. And on top of that, Snapchat. So the reason why me and my brother are still only in with a quarter of what we plan to be in with, we didn't average up, is because looking at the NASDAQ on the 180 day, it definitely looks like it can still find the resistance anywhere here. That's why I drew this line here. It can push up still, you know, the next day the market is open, but ultimately 
it's not unrealistic to think it could find a, a resistance right around here like it did before and end up selling off even more, right? It's not until I see a break above this area right here and it continuously wants to hold and go where I'm going to think about actually adding to my positions, right? Because I don't want to add to anything really if it's losing me money. So I'm really happy with how they've been performing today, but definitely not hopeful or anything like that, thinking it has to start going because this chart shows that the Nasdaq could definitely start finding maybe even a higher low like this anywhere here. It might push up a little more or just drop here. So definitely on the lookout for that. And if any of you are in fully right now, um, it's only my advice, obviously, so uh, just my opinion, but I would recommend maybe not uh, being so risky about it. I know prices are really attractive right now, but they can definitely fall even more. The cheap can always get cheaper, and yeah, just keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, it's obviously up to you, and I wish you the best of luck. So thank you guys all so much for this recap, uh, for tuning back in, and tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving again, and the market will be closed, unfortunately, but... I will see you guys all on Friday because it will be open, but it's just going to be shortened hours for uh, Black Friday. So, yeah, thank you guys all so much and have a great one.